О, PC games. We all love them. And if you are a Slav, you love them too. And now we can all play together. This is where all sorts of Slavic memes like Suka Blyat, Rajbi and so on came from. But it was not always like that. Pour your favorite drink, write Rush B in the comments, hit the like button and let's go on a tour of beautiful, high quality Slavic translations. Once upon a time, long ago, in the wild ages, like 30 years ago, all the Slavs lived together in one big and friendly country, the United Slavic something, right? And there were no games in this country. Because if you are building communism, you don't have time for games. And for movies. And for music. And for food. And for sleep. And for... But then USSR decided that it would no longer build communism, but would build a bunch of different countries. Like, eh, whatever. And suddenly, it turned out that in other countries, like United something and... Uh, you? They have a whole bunch of content, and you can consume it, but it's in English. That's where the problems came in. Communism was supposed to be built all over the world, and you can't build it without saying suka blyadj. That's why they made everyone learn Russian, and no one knew English. You could have hired translators, but all the money went to build communism. By the way, that's why there was no money for official content either. This meant that it was necessary, first of all, to get the content without money, and secondly, to translate it somehow. The first problem was solved very simply. This disk is not yours. It's ours. Maybe I'll make a special video about that too. But the second problem was more difficult. You had to find good Soviet actors who knew foreign languages, had their own quality recording studio and were willing to work for free. It's still a mystery why, but there wasn't much of a desire. That is why translation and dubbing were the lot of individual enthusiasts. They did not really know the language and translated the films as best they could, that is, by ear and word for word. They were not actors and they did not have good recording equipment. By the way, regular store tapes were not of very good quality and they were expensive. And there was no money, so some pirates would steal stolen movies from other pirates and re-record over the previously stolen movies they had already seen. Oh yeah! And someone was sure to try to record their own video on top of it. You don't wanna ruin a blank tape. So this is what the tape of those years looked like. Pirated Beethoven. The sticker on top says it's die hard. What do you think is written on it? That's right, Tom and Jerry. And the wedding recording of people you don't even know. I thought all my childhood that the second half of Wallace and Gromit was Sonic gameplay from the Genesis. Anyway, here is a piece of what makes me incredibly nostalgic. This is how I watched movies when I was a kid, and any Slav here would cry. The 600 series had rubber skin. We spotted them. System 006. They were very thin skin. It was easy to see. But these are new. They are not human. 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 Какие машины еще не умеют делать? Еще не умеют. И еще не будут уметь лет 40 примерно. Ты хочешь... Молочным, самым лучшим шоколадом заливаем. Молоко вдвойне вкуснее. За прокладки Always Ultra Plus. Always. С ним нельзя договориться. Его нельзя подкупить. Он не чувствует жалость или грызение совести, или страх. Он никогда не остановится, никогда, пока не убьет тебя. Ты можешь остановить его? О, oh, what a time! Yeah, those dialogues were heartbreaking and made you cry. It's true.
By the way, what's important, it is believed that in Slavic countries people do not even know the Latin alphabet. So you see any intro like this. And we see it like this. Radioactive люди. Циклопы. Булдери. Бандит. Гроза. By the way, the songs were also translated. From the day we Тот день, когда мы появляемся на планете. Когда мы первый раз прищуришь и вступаем в лучи солнца, мы понимаем, что мы никогда не увидим все, что можем увидеть. Никогда не сделаем все, что можем сделать. Typically, a tape could hold more information than one film. Therefore, another film or cartoons could be added to the remaining space. But there was not that much room left. So, if it was a movie, the tape only fit the first 20 minutes. But now you could write two in one on a cover. Even whole stars appeared among the shitty voiceover artists. For example, we got a grumpy grandpa who now has a YouTube channel where he calls everyone an underage motherfucker, малолетний дебил, calls everything dumb shit and entertains himself with a dog toy and demands the return of communism. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and Slavic people are still not used to paying for content. It's a kind of digital atheism. Why pay for something you cannot touch? Of course, that is changing now. They say Western spies have some kind of steam or something. So the recipe. How to translate content correctly. First, we need a bad microphone. Like the worst. If you have a good microphone, the recording can be ruined later. This thing is not necessary to us, it's some capitalist crap. And to sound more convincing, you need to speak closer to the microphone. For proximity effect. It is advisable to eat or drink something while recording. And no. Do you hear that? No re-recording. A real man records everything from the first take. You can also take a Russian English dictionary or some script, but it is not necessary. And what do you get? This. Hey, Skasa, which end of the chocolate card that do it first? Eh? The drop the head and first, right? I see. By the way, which end is the head? The fatter end or the thinner end? I think this end, this thin side is the head. Uh, see, I see. I thought that the fatter end was the head. So, why is the thinner end the head? Doesn't this look like a seashell? Why do you think it's the fatter end, Kona-chan? Cause it's look like a caterpillar. A caterpillar. Well, but then you think about it, the seashell gives you a better image. Um. Take it. I will laugh later. Because I wear navy clothes. And that's that. Even if it's on the Monday, I'm feeling horrible. What am I supposed to do? Summer clothes are better. Oh, so cute. They keep singing. Lucky Star. First episode. Yeah, it was kinda hard to watch anything like that. But gradually you get used to it. Or go crazy. We won't know the right answer, because psychiatry in Russia is considered a pseudoscience. Actually, it is already obvious. It was a little trip into the world of the Slavs. Next time we will learn... Something new. And that's all for today. My name is Mark. Subscribe, comment, like, and see you next time, блядь!